Hey there, so I just got back from uh, the uh, fest day, film festival day three. Well, I'm not back totally, well, I am back, but I'm only back for a little bit. Uh, we just finished watching the 1978 Battlestar Galactica, uh, the theater film, which really, really holds up. And uh, I know why I now like the original better than the, uh, than the new series, because it's just, I like the actors better, and it's just got a great sense of fun and uh, camaraderie. It's just a great show, <clears throat> and we watched Tron, which also uh, is better than I realized than I thought it was going to be. Uh, sure, some of the effects are hokey, but they work on the big screen, and uh, <clears throat> you have to take into account that uh, this that's when they were uh, this is when they were done. So I went to my uh, HMV because we don't know when we're getting Screen Factories in. So I grabbed up three titles that they did have there, and. Uh, picked them up today, and uh, they were uh, Q the Winged Serpent, which is one that I remember watching as a kid. Not a lot of features on this one, just an audio commentary, but it's got a commentary with uh, Larry Cohen, so that should be uh, pretty incredible. He usually does some great commentaries. Uh, love his stuff. Uh, of course, he did the uh, It's Alive movies, and of course, Michael Moriarty's in this, because uh, Michael Moriarty seems to be uh, Larry Cohen's go-to guy. So let's just uh, see if I can find a Pen or something. Yeah. Have anything there? I can kind of open this with scissors. That'll work. Thank you. We'll open it up. We'll check and see if there's. I don't think these here have like a uh, reversible covers like the uh, like the collector's editions do, but they do have like a uh, like pictures and stuff on the inside. So we'll look at it. So yeah, this is the interior art, and these are all Blu-ray that I've got today. And uh, it's Q, which is got some great interior art. I really, really wish that one of these had actually been a reversible cover, to be honest with you. But they tend to be keeping those for the collector, collector's editions. I really should have looked for uh, <clears throat> Night of the Demons, because there's one here that makes me think that Night of the Demons may have actually been there. And, it's, and if it's, that's true, I'm kicking myself. But these are some great ones I got. I also picked up uh, one that I've been eyeing for a while. And although I did have the MGM version of this, I wanted to upgrade it to Blu-ray. Heard that some great extra features that weren't available on the MGM version as well, including a, a really cool uh, interview with actress Madeline Smith from the Hammer films. And that is, of course, uh, Vampire Lovers, one that uh, definitely is one that everybody should own. And love this here. This can actually be used sort of as a uh, re reverse play for one, too. Okay, there's the uh, Vampire Lovers Blu-ray disc. And the back, and the back of this one has gorgeous cover. Some gorgeous artwork there. I'm actually very tempted to change that out. Although you won't be able to see the uh, information on the other side. I don't really care. Because that's pretty gorgeous, guys. <clears throat> the next one is one of the big ones that I didn't think was going to be in there. But apparently what it looks like is they're going to... When they sign a new distribution deal uh, for uh, our area, that they'll get stuff that's coming in after the deal is signed, but stuff before that, we'll, we won't be able to get that anymore unless we unless I order it online. So, uh, still a few things that I really need. Uh, Body Bags is a movie that I seriously want and have not been able to find. Salt and Pacific 13 is another one of them. Next up is uh, one I'm very excited about. <clears throat> I'm a huge Kevin Tenney fan, and I really love this movie. And it's uh, Witchboard. And this has a ton of features on it. I mean, like, just, like, a ton. And this one, oh, this one here is a DVD Blu-ray combo. And, of course, we're going to have that little cheesy dude on the other side. There. So, I really wish they would have done a reversible cover on these here. I am disappointed that they didn't do that for this one here. Because Witchboard was a big enough one that deserved a reversible cover. Like, if they can put a reversible cover on, uh, on Night of the Demons, and Witchboard is just as packed with stuff as Night of the Demons is, really. Uh, Witchboard comes with, by the way, a new audio commentary with director Kevin Tenney and the actors, including uh, Days for Life star Steve Nichols, Kathleen Wilhot, and James Quinn. New audio commentary with writer-director Kevin Tenney, executive producer... Walter Justin and uh, producer Jeff Jeffrey. New interviews with Kevin Tenney, Tony Katane, 
J.P. Lubson, James Quinn, Walter Justin, Todd Allen. Todd Allen, I think, was from the uh, soap opera Santa Barbara. And more. I think he played Ted. Uh, vintage making of Witchboard, theatrical trailer, TV spots, stills gallery, and much more. I wonder what the much more is, because uh, I got the uh, Phantasm one, and uh, that said a much more, and really, it did have a much more, i got to say. It was spot on, awesome. And I got the uh, Phantasm 2, and I had the uh, one, another one that said a much more, Helling, and I uh, had a couple cool features that weren't listed. So I'm kind of interested in checking this one out. I really love this movie. It's like a kind of a cheesy 80s film. So, <clears throat> three to add to my Screen Factory collection. So, maybe I'll do another overview. I recently did an overview of my Screen Factory stuff. But I've bought like about two or three since then. I'm not including these. So, we got Witchboard. Uh, the Hammer film, The Vampire Lovers. And Chew the Winged Serpent. Okay, hint. I want to show you something. Okay, this is the case. Yeah. No. Although it's like. Could we do it with it? No, it's not going to work. Because it's gonna, that's going to come out in front instead of that. If that would have came out in fr front, I don't know how to do it upside down. No, that's okay because it didn't even. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, starting with Blu ray and I don't. Okay. But, uh. No, I thought of it changing it around. But this would have been on the other side. I definitely would have changed it around. The Screen Factory made a, a big boo boo in uh, how the, uh, the, the art on the inside of uh, Vampire Lovers the, took what I consider to be some of the better art for the film, although it's a very exploitation art, is this one here, which I do like, but I like the uh, foreign art just a little bit better. I do love this, the caution, not for the mentally immature. So, uh, my Screen Factory collection has now uh, increased a lot, and I'm going to be getting some more, I think, for uh, the uh, for my for my birthday. And the comical thing here is that Q, which I know is a Screen Factory release, and they do they made this mistake I don't know how many times and stuff, is actually called a a, a Shout Factory release. And I'm pretty sure Q the Wing Serpent is a Screen Factory release. Uh, no, it's the same. Come on, guys. Get your uh, thing on there right. Uh, that's like a... No, the... What was it? Incredible Melting Man. On the case, it says Shout Factory. Uh, but right there on the sticker of the... I bet it says, you know, Screen Factory. So, which is what it's supposed to be. Night Riders actually is a Shout Factory release, but... And that makes no sense because Night Riders is a film that fits in with the Scream Factory logo, not the Ship Factory logo, which is really a. So I consider Night Riders by George Romero an unofficial Scream Factory release. That's a. That's my thought on it. And if uh, Scream Factory doesn't like that, too bad because uh, uh, I'm right and they're wrong. Even though they make the movies, I. Uh, <clears throat> I know it belongs in the in which category. <clears throat> Show Factory does a lot of great stuff, and they should stick with a lot of their, uh, with the uh, cult science fiction stuff and, uh, and some of the action, and you know the other stuff they do comedy and stuff like that. Screen Factory should be their, uh, their kind of their horror type of thing. They're gonna go to for that type of stuff and quit so much on the new stuff. You know, there's some decent stuff, Cockneys for Zombies and stuff like that. But come on, uh, that's not what we. Buy. That's not when we go. Oh, I gotta go get a Screen Factory. Nobody goes out and says, "Hey, guess what? I'm gonna go out and buy Screen Factory. Guess I'm gonna get that new Dead Souls movie." No, people are gonna go out and buy. Hey, I wanna get a Screen Factory. I wanna get something like Witchboard. I wanna get something like uh, Vampire Lover. I wanna go buy Q the Winged Serpent. That's what you look for when you look for a Screen Factory. If you manage to find the evidence for cheap enough, yeah, great, it's fantastic. Cool thing with this one is that I'll be able to put this into my. Uh, it's got a DVD one, so uh, I'll uh, have the DVD and I'll back it up with my Apple TV. That'll be kind of cool that way. I'll just uh, put it on there as well, so I got a. So I can just watch it once the features when I want to. But uh, yes, ton of stuff. I'm just gonna go check this one out now. Check see if some information on it and see if what that and much more is. So uh, tonight I'm going back in about an hour to watch. Uh, 
two more movies. I'm watching uh, Logan's Run, and I'm watching the uh, classic film Flash Gordon from my 1980. <clears throat> so wish me luck, and I will see you guys here after I finish uh, day three of the festival, which at what point, hopefully now, inshallah, I will have seen eight films so far in the last three days. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and right now for me, if I'm going to make it through these next two films, and if I'm not going to fall asleep, it's time for tea.